Welcome to Cloud Security Basics, a new series where we explain the ins and outs of securing your application on Google Cloud. Sound fun? Then stick around because in this episode, you'll learn how Google Cloud protects customers' data. Hello, Cloud Detective. You may have answered basic questions about platform security, but what do you know about how Google Cloud secures data inside of its platform? As you hit send on your keyboard and send data over the network, one of my hench people could intercept that data. Or I could plant malware inside of your system to nefariously do my bidding. What can you do to stop that? For your sake, I hope you know the answer to my question. Okay, here's what we know. This comes down to securing data at rest and securing data in transit. When Brad Actor talks about a malicious service inside of your system gaining access to your other services, there are a lot of ways Google protects from that. For one, to keep data private and secure, Google logically isolates each customer's data from that of other customers and users, even when it's stored on the same physical server. As Google is managing this data for its cloud clients, it protects them from employees abusing their access. Only a small group of Google employees ever have access to customer data. Additionally, Google doesn't scan customer data for advertisements or sell it to third parties. And then if customers delete their data, Google commits to deleting it from their systems within 180 days. Finally, Google provides tools that make it easy for customers to take their data with them if they ever choose to stop using Google services. These are just a few examples of how Google Cloud protects customer data that lives in Google Cloud. Let's look at a few more. So, how does Google Cloud protect from data being intercepted as it's sent over the network? Before we answer that, let's talk about data at rest. When users store their data in Google Cloud, the various Google storage services can be configured to use keys from a central key management service to encrypt data before it's written to physical storage. Performing encryption at the application layer allows the infrastructure to isolate itself from potential threats at the lower levels of storage, such as a malicious disk firmware. Other layers of protections are also used, such as hardware encryption. But once data leaves Google's secure server, customer data must make several journeys across devices, known as hops, across the public internet. The number of hops depends on the distance between the customer's ISP and the solution's data center. Each additional hop introduces a new opportunity for data to be attacked or intercepted. Because it's linked to most ISPs in the world, though, Google's global network improves the security of data in transit by limiting hops across the public internet. All traffic is routed through custom Google front-end servers. Google front-end servers are used to detect and stop malicious requests and distributed denial-of-service attacks. Additionally, GFE servers are only allowed to communicate with the control list of servers internally. This default deny configuration prevents GFE servers from accessing unintended resources. As the data moves along the network, Google uses cryptography to ensure the data is private, unchanged by any third party, and is being exchanged between trusted partners. These cryptographic features are encapsulated inside of the Google Cloud RPC mechanisms, so they are available to other application layer protocols, such as HTTP. This provides application layer isolation and removes dependency on the security of the network path. Encrypted inter service communication can remain secure even if the network is tapped or a network device compromised. On top of that, Google uses industry standard firewalls and access control lists, or ACLs, to ensure network segregation, adding another layer of protection to sensitive networks. Lastly, since Google's using the same infrastructure it provides to its users, the same DDoS and man-in-the-middle protections we talked about previously apply here. Uh, which means I know the answer to Brad Actor's question. Hello, detective. I see you've been busy and solved my little question. Once data is stored in Google's data centers, what's keeping it safe? Very good, you found the crux of the argument. Google has protections in place to store data in transit and data at rest. Data stored on Google's server is only ever accessed by a Google employee on a need-to-know basis. Once data leaves Google's data centers, there are a few tools Google puts in place to protect customers' data, like custom networking hardware, inter-service encryption, and inter-service ACLs. Very good, very good. You've answered today's question, but are you ready? 
because next time I want to see how your platform handles physical security. So that's it. Another episode of Cloud Security Basics. Next episode will focus on how Google Cloud secures the data centers and hardware. In the meantime, if you want to take a deeper dive in how Google secures its users' customer data, then check out the article linked in the description below. Stay tuned for the rest of the Cloud Security Basics series because when it comes to security, you can't let bad actors win.